Welcome back to another episode of FM1 Spotlight. And today I have two very talented fellas to pick their brains on about music, about life, and love because, well, that's all part of life, right? So Kyle Juliano and Sam Atkins are bringing back slow 2000 RB medleys with their first ever collab for I Need You Now. Now, the song, and I'm sure all of us can relate, the song is about an unhealthy attachment and a dependency on a relationship that doesn't bring value in one's life anymore. Raise your hand if you've ever felt that way. I'm going to raise two hands. <laughs> so Kyle and Sam were brought together by their passion in creating their own ballad. Now, these two homegrown talents of Duma Gete show their flair in uniting music and lyrics, and we'll see how and now. We'll find out more about that from Kyle and Sam themselves. Kyle and Sam, welcome to FM1 Spotlight. How are you guys doing today on a Monday? We're good. How are you? Yeah. Kyle? Thank you so much for having I'm us. I'm full of energy because we got to do this. And I know the uh, for the listeners and the viewers watching at home, this is not the only interview they're doing. For all I know, this could be their 15th or they got 15 more to go. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and try to juice Kyle and Sam for all that they're worth and pick their brains. Um, for your single that you have out right now, I Need You Now, I want to pick on two lines of that song. Sometimes, and this this is the lyrics, I'm not going to sing because obviously I'm just an announcer. There's a reason why I'm an announcer and not a singer <laughs> like you two fellas. But the lyrics are, sometimes I wonder if I'm just another maybe. Call me crazy, but I think you're trying to play me. Um, is that one of those instances it's art imitating life or life imitating art? Because I got to tell you, if it were me, I've felt that way before. I've been on both sides of that coin, actually. How about you, Kyle? Um, I think I think Sam can explain that. <laughs> All right, Sam. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we've. I don't know. Maybe for me, I've been on that you know side of you know the story before, where I just feel like it's very clear, it's very obvious that this is this person does not have my best interest at hand, you know. At the same time, you know, the whole idea of the song is sometimes it's very clear to us. At the same time, we just still choose to roll with it, which is weird. You know, we're just like, I see a ditch right there, but I would just pretend like it's not there and just like walk straight into it. Right. <laughs> you know, so. it's something you got to it's not good for you, but it's like, you know what? It's it's it could be. Let's just keep yeah. going. <laughs> yeah, I, I we'll deal the with the heartbreak way. later. Right. Right. So, wait, so Sam, in this song, you wrote the lyrics for it, and then Kyle is the one that wrote the melody. Is that correct? Uh, we or did you... it together. We did okay, it together. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. So when you guys get together in Dumaguete, of course, I'm, I've never been there. I'm not familiar. So, And, of course, we're in an ECQ, or I don't know what it's like there in, in Dumaguete. What, what's the status in, in Dumaguete right now? Um, uh, Dumaguete is kind of chill uh, compared to okay. Manila. But you mentioned that's nice. Yeah. Um, so you guys, when you say you guys, you did it together. You got together at like your, you're like, yo, Kyle, I'm going to your house, or yo, Sam, can I come over? Let's write something together. Something like that. How does that work out yeah. when two artists get together? So this happened 2019, right, Kyle? Yeah. 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 Um, mid July, I think. Yeah, I think yeah. So I think Kyle was here for like holiday, and I was at, I'm just here, and and I was like, bro, we should have a writing session it's let's just jam or whatever and he was like oh i'm actually in town i was like great you know and then we scheduled i think it was a thursday or something um i went over to his place his cousin's place who also was one of their songwriters of the song and we all just kind of jammed you know kyle just played a couple chords and we just rode with it we actually didn't um plan to make a song song and like release it yeah. you know, we just wanted to have fun and hang out and this song happened so yeah so do you, when that jamming session came together was it just i need you now that you ended up writing or did you end up writing like a different uh more different songs or like well this one's about that specific theme maybe you had another song written out for another theme no it, it was just one song okay, I oh, it was just this one and yeah, and uh, before we wrote that song, I think we jabbed for a little bit. Uh -huh. and then we finished the song for a couple of hours. And then I think it took us like whole day, right? To record the demo 
the yeah. whole song. That's what think. took time. Like, yeah, that took time. We wrote the song. <laughs> and we just wanted to record and hear ourselves sing it, and that took forever, you know. Yeah. But it was fun, you know. That's why we just kept going. Yeah, I was gonna okay. ask, like, what's the funnest part for you two guys? Like, for Sam, is it the writing part, and then like the recording or coming up with the 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 structure of the song? Kyle, how is it the same for you? Um, for me, I I I've, I always love like making harmonies and uh, the melodies. Ah, of the song. you're the or melody guy, yeah. Yeah. So Sam. Um, uh, was more of the lyrics, and I also contributed a few of it. So, uh, yeah. so, so like, bring me back to like July, July 2019. You guys are hanging out in the living room or something. You're like, yo, you. There was this one girl. I was totally tripping up on her, and she knew it too. So she took advantage of me. Is that what happens, or do you just kind of write? Like you bring, um, don't don't mention any names, no names, no names. <laughs> but like, you know, Sam is chilling on his couch, and he's like, yo, this one girl. And then you're like, oh yeah. I don't know. Um, I can't remember. How about you, Sam? I think. I think. <laughs> just the, the, the Sam just definitely. This is coming from Sam. <laughs> he's giving. He's, he's like, giving Sam all the hard answers. <laughs> <laughs> he's giving Sam all the, uh, the hard questions. Um, I, I think but, okay, so yeah. I think this for this song specifically. It sort of. I think it's safe to say. Um, it sort of came from a subconscious um, uh, part of us. So it wasn't like we were actively thinking, you know, because I think it's something we we all can relate to. Um, so yeah, I think true. subconsciously it just came out. Yeah, that's that's yeah, like the those the when I when I was listening to the song and I heard those two lines, I was like, Yeah, I've been there. Exactly. <laughs> I've been there. Um, besides songwriting, like what do you guys do? Like, do you play video games? How do you how do you keep away from like getting brought down by all the madness that is life right now in 2021? Um, Sam usually plays um, video games. Yeah, I, I play video games. Yeah. All right, so for I, all of our gamers right now tuned in, we'll get to Kyle in a few because I don't know if Kyle, Kyle doesn't sound like he's playing video games. So Sam, what are you playing right now? I play I play FIFA. I literally was playing like, and I was playing FIFA like two hours ago, and then I had a writing session, and then I had to do this, and then after this, this I'm gonna go back and play FIFA. Finish a game. <laughs> 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 all right, how about you, Kyle? What do you do? Um, I mean, I played video games back then when I was um, um, grade school and then high school a, li a little bit. And then when I went to college, um, I just um, got interested in um, watching movies, Netflix, ah. um, series, and stuff. So what was the last thing that you watched? The last thing that I watched, um, I think I've mentioned this in the previous interviews, um, it's Prison Break. Oh, man. All, yeah, all of the seasons. Way back, yeah? Yeah. Like way back before yeah. even Netflix existed, I think. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if you think about it. Yeah. So like, yeah. I wonder, like, I, the reason why I ask is like, you know, when when and you're watching a movie on Netflix, it's, this is diff more difficult to make a connection with video games. But like, do you get song inspiration from from videos that you watched? Um, there's yeah. another Filipino artist, um, Olivia Rodrigo, right? I think she's Filipino American, mm -hmm. and she gave writing credits to like Taylor Swift and to Paramore. Uh, cause of course those were the Paramore and Taylor Swift inspired whatever tracks that she had written for that. Do you, do you guys find yourself doing the same thing? And can you tell me specifically who you, who you tend to, um, get inspiration from? Um, I get inspiration basically just anywhere. Um, watching movies, uh, is one of them. And then I guess, um, um, from, you know, real life experiences, I guess. So I guess it's you. Stop running away from me, Kyle. <laughs> Give me something <laughs> specific. <laughs> Sam sees this. He <laughs> Sam's looking. It's like, yeah. <laughs> can, you, can you give me something specific? Well, to right, maybe specific, if you got an album coming up, like, give me a specific situation without naming names or anything. But okay, you know. so um, I wrote this song called um, "Still You," and it's basically about my my ex girlfriend. Yeah. And, uh, so yeah, it's it's just basically shows um tells all about our um, um, happenings in our relationship. Right, in the relationship so, yeah yeah and wanting so, yeah. that back maybe 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 yeah, maybe wanting that back maybe <laughs> kyle wanting that back or the other party wanting that back how about you sam um i 
Viva, write, FIFA inspiration in your music. <laughs> no, no I, I want my music to be played on FIFA one day. So that's. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That'd be dope. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I basically, I'm more of a lyricist, um, songwriter, producer type of guy. Um, right. I, I usually get inspired from like, like people, like life, like people just live in life that like, you know, gets me going. Just like seeing someone getting up and going to work like that does something to me and, and i think it was harder a little bit harder at the start of the pandemic because it was just me and the four walls of my room you know not getting a lot of like interaction sometimes just like a great conversation like my last single me for myself i remember i wrote that song 2020 i think i was hanging out with a bunch of friends like our acquaintances that i sort of know and we just had like some deep life conversations yeah and then I went back home and the next morning I woke up and that was the first thing I wrote. I didn't even plan to write anything, you know, because I feel like, because I mentioned that we sort of write subconsciously, or at least I do. Um, so a lot of things I just throughout the day or throughout the week, I'm just like ingesting a bunch of information and it all just comes out subconsciously when I write. I don't, I try not to, at least when I'm writing for myself personally, I try not to, to start a song and be like i want to write this you know like forcing yourself of, into it yeah i just sort of yeah. see see it as okay wherever this takes me i would go on that journey and it's exciting that way it's more exciting to me so yeah you seem like a hip-hop r&b dude but, but how about like for you kyle as well like what specific genre would you say you lean towards in music um for now i can uh, i think uh like ballad or pop ballad something in between so what but do you I'm have trying... on repeat for example on, on on your spotify or other music streaming service like what do you keep uh, on repeat or is it left? mostly um or in a I'm playlist listening to, i'm listening to justin Bieber songs and sean mendes songs right ah now. yeah yeah. So, yeah how about you sam um, i listen to everything because you know i just gotta sometimes i'm listening to like michael jackson or i'm an album type of guy so i like to listen to like albums and stuff like that but it's so when you say you're an album type of guy, like you finish mm -hmm. it from track one to track exactly. 12? That's how I like it. Like I was trying to listen to Donda. Yeah. I don't know if you, yeah. <laughs> I have, and yeah. I, I haven't really gotten think? to, to it's, it's, it's insane. It's insane. I it mean, is. It's, Con, it's, it's Kanye still. So. It's Kanye, yeah. Kanye. I was going to ask you, like, do you feel more like you're leaning towards Donda or um, I don't CLB? know if you're a fan of Drake because, Yeah. <laughs> because both of those albums came out within the same week, I think. I know. I feel like it was planned. They've been beefing also. So oh, like, yeah? You think it's it planned? Just, yeah. <laughs> it just makes sense. Like, Drake is just going to drop his album a week after Kanye releases. But for me, so far, right. I'm digging, like, um, Donda. Yeah. Just, like, musically. And, like, the production is just insane, you know? Earlier, for all of our viewers and listeners tuned in right now, it was kind of difficult because we kept hearing our names. And since me and Kyle have the same name, it was like, wait, are you talking to Kyle the DJ or Kyle the actual musician? <laughs> uh, but Kyle, if they want to find out more about you, your life, your exes, maybe even, and of course your work coming up, how do we get in touch with you? Okay, so you, you can um, listen to my uh, um, Sp uh, Spotify, my songs on Spotify. It's out everywhere also. Um, you can go to my Facebook page. It's Kyle Juliano. And my Instagram is at I am Kyle underscore Juliano. And then my Twitter is also at I, at I am Kyle underscore Juliano. There you so, go. Kyle Juliano. Remember that one. <laughs> and Sam, how do I get in touch with you? How do we get in touch with you? And maybe if you want to add you up on Steam or something to play some FIFA with you, how do we get in touch with you? Um, I don't have Steam yet, but maybe I'll work on okay. that. I have Instagram, <laughs> yeah. Twitter, Facebook at Sam Atkins Music. And uh, you can listen to my music on YouTube and Spotify at Sam Atkins. Um, yeah, that's it for me. All right. Thank you very much. And to all of our viewers and listeners watching right now, thank you for spending a part of your day with me. Kyle Juliano and Sam Atkins, please watch out for their single that's coming up. Uh, it's already out, actually, and we should be playing it right now for FM1's One on One. I Need You Now is the name of the track. And with that, Kyle and Sam, thank you for joining us on another episode of FM1 Spotlight. We'll catch you guys at the next one. Bye-bye. Shout out to Team Manila, available online through DailyGrindStore.com, Team Manila Shopee, and Lazada stores. 
Microphones on and cameras set. We've heard their sound and now it's time for us to ask around. FM1 Spotlight on Republicast, exclusively on FM1.